Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Stronghold and Chill. Uh, this week I've brought Andreas, one of our 3D artists, down to talk. Um, you may know him from some previous videos, some serious, not so serious. Uh, we're going to be playing some Crusader 2, which Andreas worked on as a 3D artist. Um, and we're going to ask him some you know, questions about his time at Firefly, what he does here, and you know, some more general life and gaming questions. So, Andreas, you ready to play some Crusader 2? Not really. <laughs> Perfect, <laughs> let's, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so, while I begin building up my base and my castle, uh, we'll start off with giving the audience some context into what you do here. So if you could run through sort of what your role is at the studio, and sort of, especially with regards to Crusader 2, seeing as we're playing it right now, what exactly you did regarding this game and maybe any other projects you worked on while you were here. Cool, yeah, like you said, I'm a 3D artist and Crusader 2 was the first game I actually worked on when I first started working for Firefly. Mm -hmm. um, since I didn't have much experience, my tasks were more uh, menial <laughs> than creative. Mm -hmm. So I basically created a lot of uh, the um, LODs for the buildings, uh, destruction models, did some animations, yeah. And basically tidied up uh, a lot of the a lot of the buildings, um, mm -hmm. and I created a few unique buildings as well, like the church and the mosque. Um, I didn't do any character work for this game, though. I, I think mm, did I do any? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, so anything sort of on the screen right now, which you can sort of... Well, if you start destroying things, you'll see it. You'll see them <laughs> getting destroyed. No, we'll, get, we'll get there, we'll get there, uh, sure. So yeah, by the time, I think I started working on the game about six months after it had already started uh, being developed. So a lot of things had already been made. I did, I did the lion den. The lion den? <laughs> the lion's den. Do you have any on the map? Um, Oh, I should have chosen a map with a lion then yeah, if I knew. Okay. No, that's not a lion then. <laughs> um, unfortunately not, no. No worries, no so, worries. Well, we'll see some destruction later, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah. I'll, I'll guess but if you, if, if you zoom out, the, the, the LOD, yeah, it doesn't zoom out enough. <laughs> <laughs> the LODs are mine, which basically was a, quite a challenge, you know, creating a um, lower level of detail and trying to keep the same kind of profile and yeah. you know you don't want them you don't want the meshes to jump around but you want them to you know look look a lot like what the actual high high mesh yeah. looks like and so that was basically one of my first tasks that i had on the game just get take all the buildings and make lower resolution versions of them yeah great yeah. um so to stop interrogating you about your uh Work here at Firefly. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, sandwich in some more sort of easy questions and we'll just go for a general what's your favourite game of all time? Oh, that's a hard question. Actually, growing up, it was definitely Kingdom Hearts. Um, okay. I, I really like that game. But nowadays, I'm more of the kind of Last of Us and Uncharted kind yeah. of cinematic. gamer. Yeah, cinematic, uh, story driven games. Uh, the new God of War was pretty amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so now I'm just waiting for Last of Us 2 and I might play uh, the new Spider-Man. So back to your professional life. Um, did you always want to be sort of a, let's say, let's say a video game developer in general, let alone a 3D artist? No, growing up I wanted to be a paleontologist. Paleontologist? <laughs> yeah. But at some point of my, in my teens, somebody convinced me that by the time I'd be an adult they would have found all, all the fossils <laughs> so I wouldn't be I would be out of work oh, no. uh, I, I hate that guy now because yeah. you know I could have been bloody Indiana Jones but, you know. yeah. or, or Ross from Friends but no um, when uh, after after that uh, idea was implanted in my mind that I wouldn't have work as a paleontologist oh, yeah. I you know I had um, artistic uh, uh, inclinations, I would say. So I wanted to do like traditional animation, like yeah. Disney. Um, I really like drawing and stuff. But then Toy Story came out, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Well, can I say that? Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. <I'm completely> <laughs> <laughs> it's like 3D. That's the future. So yeah, then yeah. I wanted to do 3D animation. And when I actually moved to London from from Greece, I wanted to to go into the film industry. 
turns out it's much harder to get into the film industry yeah, than the gaming the industry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. yeah. So, um, actually, I'm really happy I, I landed on a video game job because it's much more, I think, fulfilling and yeah. uh, chilled out and I have mm -hmm. a lot more creative freedom to do, you know, the kind of things that I want to do. So, while you've been, as you said, it's been a fulfilling journey during your video game career. So that leads ne well into my next question of your happiest memory while at Firefly Studios. I guess, yeah, yeah releasing our first game working here was pretty awesome, like Crusader 2, especially going to all these, um, uh, what are they? Conventions, yeah, not festivals. <laughs> yeah. Gaming conventions and seeing people play them and, you know, see joy in their faces you know changing changing um the kinds of like i worked on metamorph after after crusader which was pretty awesome because i really like designing creatures that's my number one basically uh, thing that i like doing is yeah. monsters <laughs> as you can uh, yeah. None of them were directly inspired from your tattoos. Were this is the dryad that was supposed to be in Metamorph and was replaced by the Fire Nymph. <laughs> so Fire Nymph was supposed to be a tree creature. Um, and as soon as I tattooed her on my shoulder, we changed it. So. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Firefly. <laughs> no, it's not like it's permanent. Oh. <laughs> to sour those memories, uh, could you tell us your worst memory? Of I guess, yeah, that one. That one was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> tattooing, one, yeah. tattooing a character that I worked on and then decided that change, changing completely. The, well, it's not a completely new look. The, the face looks very similar. It's just a little bit more fiery and yeah. less tree-like. Um, but no, I don't. I, I don't know. I don't have. I don't have regrettable memories. I don't know. <laughs> People leaving. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Um, I haven't told you how I ended up here. If you want to know that, that's. Oh, that, that was actually my next question, Andreas. Would you like to tell the lovely audience how you ended up at Papa? Yeah. What's the word when you know people and you, they get you the job? Uh, nepotism. Ne nepotism. <laughs> no, I actually. Uh, I moved here and I was looking for a job for about three to four months. Uh, okay. And I had a friend who worked here, Kel, used to have my job and he decided to move on. And he introduced me to, um, to Simon and Ben and Paul and we had a sit down. They enjoyed what I, <laughs> what I did before, like my, my, my demo reel, my vibe. I don't know yeah. if they enjoyed that. <laughs> I'm very unlikable. So talented. God damn. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my work spoke for itself. Yeah. And they hired me. And it's, uh, it's been, I think, almost six years now that I've been here. Fair enough. So, so what would you say to sort of a younger you who, would say, was trying to become a 3D artist and that was their one goal? What would you say, your one piece of advice to them would be? It's your work, your work speaks for yourself, basically. So it doesn't matter if you have a degree, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you know people, to be honest. If you have a good enough demo reel, you'll get a job. So again, to reel back from the uh, professional chat, we'll go for something more general and ask you your favorite musician of all time. Uh, I, don't, I don't have a favorite, I don't know. It's, that, that's a hard question, man. Do you have a favorite musician? Apology. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I like, um, I listen to some like hardcore metal kind of music. So I have favorite bands like Killswitch Engage, Atreyu and stuff like that. But I, I like the screaming, you know, it gets, it gets me, it gets me going. But no, nowadays I like, uh, I've broadened my musical horizons. Like I listen to pretty much anything that I enjoy the melody of and mm -hmm. You know, if, if it sounds good, I'll listen to it. Moving on, um, could you take us to a typical day in the life of a 3D programmer? Or 3D artist, sorry. <laughs> Excuse Do me. not confuse <laughs> me with the program. I can't program. <laughs> um, our job is very um, milestone driven, so um, I will have tasks complete and, you know, I'll get into, get into work switch on the PC, get a coffee, <laughs> sleep. Yeah, <we're> <laughs> don't sleep guys, don't sleep. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I usually, you know, if I have to animate, I will, like right now I have a lot of animations to do and a lot of characters uh, to animate, you know, walking, running, attacking, 
dying. Yeah. <laughs> So, you know, I'll work through those tasks. If I have a building to create, I'll have to, you know, model, yeah. then texture, then do the destruction, mm -hmm. do the LODs. So there's a lot of, like, steps from, yeah. you know, for a, any kind of, I don't know, I guess it's just creating and destroying as well. <laughs> um, it's, it's very creative. It's very... Uh, um, usually, you know, I just put on music or YouTube in the background and I just zone zone into yeah, or yeah. zone out of <laughs> and just create. Yeah, and once every, you know, a couple of weeks we'll do meetings, uh, Skype meetings to discuss what the progress is and what needs to be done. Um, Simon will come around to see what I'm doing and give me feedback. Ben will uh, also give me his feedback, our lead artist. Um, everything kind of goes through him to make sure that we have a cohesive look. So I, I feel like this is a question every gamer likes to know about another gamer, and that is, what is your highest number of hours played in any game? And this could be before sort of hours were logged, if you just had a No, I mean, I, from, from, I remember from, I think it was Final Fantasy X, I had about 650 hours logged, and I don't know if that's a lot. I don't know what kind I've of... Got, I've got more in some yeah. games. <laughs> we'll wait for my episode before I... To yeah, I definitely, definitely want my time back. That's fair enough. Well, while we've still got a little gap in this castle here, I'm going to send my troops in for a final assault because we're now ending the list of questions. Um, and with our final question, I want, the, I want the people at home to know what you're going to do with the rest of your day. What are you going to do after this interview, Andres? I'm working on, on new animations for all the all the troops. So hopefully, you know, if you don't like them, that's on me. And <laughs> just don't comment about it. Just keep it to yourselves, okay? I'm working hard here. I'm trying my best. <laughs> it's really hard when it's a tiny character. You have to, uh, you have to, uh, you know, kind of extend, ex accentuate, accentuate, like. Yeah, let's go with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's. Uh, it's a, uh, trust me, doing a small, tiny screen character animations is much harder than <laughs> doing big, uh, um, polished, like, cinematic, I think, because you have to show the emotion through, you know, you know 10 pixels on the screen. <laughs> I don't know. But. All right, so, as our final batch of swordsmen try and finish the rat, unfortunately he's just... Surrounded by... Yeah. A whole lot of, yeah, I don't think he's going to do this. I don't think it's going to happen. But uh, at least we got we got some action out there. Um, and we'll just... Oh, uh, we're going to quit. Oh, yeah. We're going to finish this. Oh, no, we have to... We have to we, we've got time on these things, Joe. I have so to get right. back to work. What time in, is it? Yeah, oh, exactly. <laughs> in so many of these videos, we never finish. Don't worry. Um, but we will end with uh, a failed assault and a reminder to everybody watching to uh, subscribe to us here on YouTube. Um, oh, actually, first I should thank Andreas. Sorry, how uncouth of me. Thank you, Andreas, for joining me for this episode of Stronghold and Chill. Unfortunately, we couldn't defeat the rat in our allotted time slot, but I'm sure um, you guys can do that at home, loading up Crusader to yourselves. Um, and if you want to see more episodes of Stronghold and Chill with other, other developers, uh, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube and give, hit that like button to show us you like the series. Um, and if you have any precise developers you'd like to see me bring down here and interrogate then put them in the comment section below and we'll see you next week for another Firefly Studios video. Thanks for watching!